All right, so for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Walter Scene Masters UPS Stoughton 45 and 48 foot trailers in HO scale or 187 scale. Uh, these trailers are pretty much identical. Uh, the only thing that's really different is the length of them. Uh, so that's why I decided to just put them together in one video instead of doing a separate video on each. Um, so this one in the front is the 40 foot trailer. Uh, we can take a look at that one. Move that 48 one, 48 foot one out of the way. Um, but as you can see here, you got a nice UPS decal uh, right there. Uh, you got your automotive ULD number uh, right there. And you have a nice amount of DOT striping that goes down the side of the trailer as well. And you can see right here, you got a lift decal uh, right there. So this if this would be if you were pulling it off of a flat car uh, for like an intermodal setup. Uh, this is where you would want to lift. Uh, right there and right there's i believe on the real trailers that's where they have uh like some reinforcements so you don't damage the side of the trailer uh or anything like that and then your jacks are uh modeled in plastic uh, on the bottom as well you got some bolt detailing kind of right there uh, and then your jacks are they're not movable and they don't come off uh they're just fixed in one position uh, and then coming to the back uh, you can see you got some nice detailed rims on tires uh, right there as well they are plastic on the model on uh, your suspension on the back is fairly simple as well. Coming to the back of the model, you got your automotive ULD number right there. You got your locking bars and your latches to open the swing doors. Uh, now on the real UPS trailers, um, we have on these on these shorter trailers, they are roll door. I've, I've never seen a swing door UPS trailer, uh, especially on this short. Uh, you got some DOT striping right there. Again, you would have some DOT striping on the uh, DOT bumper as well. You got some painted on lights right there. Uh, like I said, you got some nice hinge details. Uh, you got a little small like, bull head details on there as well, which is very nice. Uh, and then coming to this side, it's the uh, exact same as the other side. Um, just a little bit different. Um, and over here, you got your bigger automotive ULD number right there. You got the height and width of the trailer. Uh, you got your connection for the air hoses. And your electrical and then you got your j box uh, right there uh, which is pretty nice that they modeled that on these as well um but other than that uh, that's really about it for the 45 foot trailer um like i said the 48 foot is relatively the same uh, as you can see you got your j box your airline hookup right there your automotive ult uh your lift points uh modeled very nicely now like the 53 foot trailers uh, that i have previously reviewed uh, your axles do move, uh, which is nice. So you can have them set all the way back or you can have them set all the way forward or any combination in between, uh, which is nice. Uh, they slide back. They are a little bit stiff. Uh, same with the wheels. They do roll over here a little bit stiff. So you got to be careful with that not to try and break them. Another thing you want to be careful with is these jacks uh, right here. You don't want to put too much pressure on them or drop them on the jacks because they are plastic. And I have had one break in the past. Um, so that's one thing you do have to be careful uh, and if you do break it, it's not terribly hard to fix. Just need some super glue. Um, but the difference in between the trailers, as you can see, it's about a, in real life, it's only about three feet. Um, and you can see that very well, modeled very well here. Um, these trailers, the 48 and the 45, like I said, if we go on a flat car, you send most of these to like, um, I believe a lot of them go to New York, um, uh, cities where... Uh, the roads are a lot tighter, uh, so you can't exactly bring a 53-foot trailer in, so you got to bring something smaller in uh, to get packages to that hub or to that business. Uh, but here's uh, what they look like. These are nice trailers. Um, this is what they would look like behind if you had, like, the Atherin Yard Tractor. Uh, they do look very nice, as you can see right there. It's the 45, and this is the 48 uh, right there. They do look very nice. Uh, and then if you have the trucks and stuff, EPS uh, semis, they do look great behind them as well uh, i believe both sets run for 25 30 bucks uh, something like that you can still get them from the walters website um for that price and some of the train uh dealers still have them in stock on their website which is nice um i'd recommend picking a setup if you do have a ups layout or if you're just looking to add to your intermodal layout you want to have these on flat cars something like that highly recommend it um they they come in packs of two uh, so you get two of each. Uh, they do say limited edition. Uh, but like I said, in the, in the 53 foot trailers, they've been out for a little bit. Um, so I'm not sure how many they actually produced. 
Uh, but I would recommend picking these up. But that's going to do it for this review. Uh, so thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow my social media, both links are in the description. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Or if I forgot anything, please feel free to let me know any information that I forgot. Um, but that's going to do it for this video. So thank you for watching. And stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.